Good morning, everyone. Today, if we had been at church, it would have been Youth Sunday, and that's a special Sunday at our church because we let the youth do a lot of our service programming. But today, we're going to celebrate it remotely, and many of you have submitted blessings, and we're putting those in the service. So after your Sunday school, if you can, join us for church. Today, we're going to learn a lesson called the Fruit of the Spirit, and if you look, there's some fruit right back there with my Bible. So I have in there a banana, an apple, an orange, and a pineapple. And if we were together, we would make a fruit salad. Actually, as part of the activities online, there's a fruit salad for you to make. It's actually a fruit parfait. You get to put some pudding with it too. So get online and do that activity. But I'm going to tell you a story about the fruit of the Spirit, and it's in Galatians. Remember, we've talked about Paul a lot. And Paul wrote a lot of letters, and a lot of these letters were kind of meant as instructions about how to do better and be better. So alongside behind me, you can see I have a lot of stuffed animals. And the stuffed animals are all different. I have camels and all kinds of different bears and a sheep and a rabbit, um, a koala, an elephant back in the back there. This is my elephant. All of these animals are different. And, you know, animals can all still get along and be different. So this story is about people who aren't getting along so well. And, you know, sometimes that happens. So in Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 through 26, this is the story. Paul helped people understand how to live the way God wanted them to live. One time, Paul wrote a letter to a group of people called the Galatians. The Galatians had a new church, and they needed a whole lot of help. One of the problems they had was that they were always arguing. They fought and fought about all kinds of things. The Galatians didn't always agree about what it meant to be a church or what rules to follow. They had a hard time getting along, and it was really getting in the way of them making a good church. Paul wrote a letter to the Galatians to tell them to stop fighting, and he had some great advice. There they are. These people do not look very happy to be there, do they? So let's see what Paul tells them to do. The letter said, To the Galatians, I am so happy that you believe in Jesus, but all of your fighting is getting in the way. You're not living the way the Holy Spirit tells you to live. I have a suggestion to try it. Instead of living like you are, live with the fruit of the Spirit in mind. Show love, joy, peace, and patience to one another. Be kind, generous, and faithful. And remember, be gentle with one another and always show good self-control. Live with the fruit of the Spirit in mind. That's the way the Holy Spirit wants you to live. The Galatians looked at each other. They were very quiet. Paul was right. They weren't living in the way the Holy Spirit wanted them to. What were they thinking? All of this fighting was just not right. At the end of the letter, Paul wrote, The way for you to get along and to be a church is to let God's love fill you. May the grace of God be with you, Paul. Each day, the Galatians tried to remember the words of Paul's letter. They said yes to peace, no to fighting, yes to kindness, no to anger, yes to being generous, and no to being greedy. And little by little, the Galatians saw God's love and showed it to others. They felt loved by God and they loved each other. So Paul, the Galatians, again, when we talk about the Bible, because we've, we've been trying to find the place in the Bible, because you don't have to memorize the whole Bible. It's a really big book. And we've talked before about Old and New Testament. Well, this is in the New Testament. It's in Galatians. It's almost at the very back of the Bible. So I'll give you that hint, because when we get together again next year, you'll remember it, I hope. So the bowl of fruit, it's pretty interesting. You know, it's, it's about all a single 
kind of fruit in each piece. But if we were together and could cut it up and put it in a salad, that would be really nice. And all the fruits are different, but when you mix them together, they make one fruit salad. Also, not everybody likes exactly the same things. Some people like dogs more than cats. Some people like apples more than oranges. Um, some people like chocolate. Some people don't like chocolate at all. Some people um, like ice cream, and some people don't. Some people love pizza, and some people would rather have um, a hamburger. So just because we're different doesn't mean that we can't get along. The point is, is that we have to listen to each other, and we have to respect each other. And by that, I don't mean that you have to always just agree with people. But isn't it nice when you're talking to somebody and you're telling them something and you know they really hear you? And it's important. It's important to be heard. So if I had to do a quiz and we were in church together, I would have us break up into groups. I'd have different corners and I'd say, would you rather maybe color a picture or go outside and play a sport? And so the people who colored pictures would be on one side, the people who like sports would be on the other side. Then if I asked, do you like sweet foods or salty foods? And everybody would pick a corner. Do you like cats or dogs? Uh, do you like talking about what you did during your day or keeping it to yourself? And would you rather climb or do you like just having your feet on the ground? There's no one who likes everything the same. And the people in our story, they like different things too, but they fought about their differences. So that's what the message is. You don't always have to agree totally, but you have to try to get along instead of fighting over your differences. One of the things that I have as an activity is making a puppet out of a paper bag, and you can put googly eyes and different fabrics and try to make a puppet out of that. Or if you don't have a paper bag, you can always use a mismatch socks. It happens to me all the time. I put two socks into the washer and dryer and somehow one sock leaves me so I'm left with one lonely sock. Wouldn't it be nice if I made that sock into a little puppet? So you all could do that as well. And as for your fruit, you know you can you can look at your fruit before you cut it up. How are they different from each other? How are they the same? I mean they're all fruit, right? There's no spinach in there, because I don't know if we'd want to eat the spinach in there, but maybe, maybe there are spinach lovers. They're different textures. Um, they taste different. Um, some fruits aren't as sweet. I think all of these are pretty sweet. So there's a lot of things that are alike, and there are a lot of things that are different. But when you cut them up and put them all together, they all complement each other, which means they all add something. And that's how it is in life. We all add something. So let's be respectful and kind to each other. And remember that no matter if our opinions are exactly the same or not, we all matter, all our opinions matter, and we need to be kind to one another. So this year, Sunday school has been really different. Um, and I've missed having the last quarter of our Sunday school. It's made me sad, but it's also made me happy because a lot of you I've seen on Zoom and I've gotten to connect that way. And I hope that when we get back into the church, we can do some more activities and that we'll have, you know, quite a fun time together. So now for the end of our lesson, I'm going to say a little prayer. So if you'll bow your heads, dear Lord, thank you for the fruit bowl of our lives. Just like the bowl here with all different kinds of fruit, you give us all kinds of different people and experiences in our lives. Help us to notice and appreciate all of those differences rather than expecting everyone to be just like us. Today and always, we pray and thank you for the good gifts that you give us. Amen. Everyone have a fantastic Youth Sunday, and I look forward to being with you again. Um, I'm going to keep posting lessons online um, throughout the summer. I'll probably do them bi-weekly and I'll have activities to fill in all the time. And also, um, I'm going to try to see if we can't get together sometime um, socially distanced in maybe the parking lot. Maybe we can roast some s'mores or something together. So I'll send out some information, and I'll see you then. Bye.